Madame et Monsieur, good afternoon. Since the beginning of this case, three people have died. Pauvre Monsieur Molly, pauvre Monsieur Amberiotis, and pauvre Mademoiselle Sainsbury Seal. I thought she was still missing. No, 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 Mademoiselle. In fact, Mademoiselle Sainsbury Seal was dead even before the investigations of this case began. The porter at Litchfield Court told us that Mademoiselle Sainsbury Seal had been to visit Madame Chapman. He saw her go to the apartment and be let in. She never came out again. No. Mademoiselle Sainsbury Seal was never ever seen again until the police, they broke in to the box room of Madame Chapman. You mean it was Maybelle Sainsbury Seal's body in that flat after all? Indeed it was, my dear Mademoiselle Neville. You see, it was a very clever double bluff. The disfigured face was meant to raise the question of the identity of the woman. But for me, the case, it began with a shoe. As I left the dentist after my seance, a taxi stopped, a door opened, and the foot of a woman prepared to descend. It was a foot that was well shaped, with a good ankle, and an expensive stocking. The shoe was new, shining, patent leather, with a large ornate buckle. And when the rest of the lady came into sight, to be frank, it was quite a disappointment. As Mademoiselle Sainsbury Seal descended from the taxi, she caught her shoe buckle and it was wrenched off. I picked it up okay. and returned it to her. Not at all, madame. Oh, oh dear. You are welcome, madame. Thank you so much. That was all. The incident, it was closed. Oh, I, I'm sorry, Mr. Blunt, to interrupt. I finished the post. Is it all right if I leave now? Oh, no, 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 please. Mademoiselle Montresor, please come and join the party. Monsieur Poirot is expounding some extremely entertaining theories. Please. Go on, Poir. Thank you. When Chief Inspector Jacques summoned me to Litchfield Court, because a body had been discovered, the first thing that I noticed was a shabby buckled shoe. Well? Ah, you have failed to appreciate the point, Monsieur Blunt. It was a shabby shoe. It was a well-worn shoe. But you see, Mademoiselle Sainsbury Seal visited the apartment on the evening of the same day of the murder of Monsieur Morley. So in the morning they were the new shoes, in the evening they were the old shoes. I can't see why that's important. Eh bien, Mademoiselle, Poirot does not like things he cannot explain. Madame Chapman took a size five in shoes. I knew that Mademoiselle Sainsbury Seal wore a ten inch stocking. That is to say, she took at least a size six in shoes. So I went back to re-examine the body. My idea was that the face had been disfigured to hide the fact that it really was the body of Madame Chapman dressed in the clothes of Mademoiselle Sainsbury Seal. Mais non. The shoe on the body was size six. So it looked as if it was the body of Mademoiselle Sainsbury Seal after all. But then why was the face so disfigured? By coincidence, the dentist of Mademoiselle Sainsbury Seal was also the dentist of Madame Chapman, Monsieur Morley. But he was dead. However, the records, they would have still existed, huh? So the successor to Monsieur Morley would have been able to positively identify the body as that of Mademoiselle Sainsbury Seal. And could you identify the body from these records? I could, sir. It was not Miss Sainsbury Seal. It was Mrs. Sylvia Chapman, not a patient of Mr. Morley's. But if it was the body of Madame Chapman, why was she dressed in the clothes of Mademoiselle Sainsbury Seal? An interesting problem, n'est-ce pas? So, I cast my mind back to the Mademoiselle Sainsbury Seal whom I had met, whom the Chief Inspector Jeff had met. 
I used to be an actress. Just small parts, you know. Then I went on a world tour. Yes, well. And although everything about her and everything she said was in perfect accord with her given character, I am now convinced that the Mademoiselle saint Brisil, whom we had met, and the Mademoiselle saint Brisil, who accosted you, Monsieur Blunt... You don't remember me, Mabel. Gerda and I were on tour together. They were not the same woman. You mean Miss Sainsbury Seal was murdered and someone else took over her identity? Precisément. A game that is very dangerous, n'est-ce pas? But the